CB4 Investigates has a warning about an item on your child's Christmas list. It's called a Flipper Zero. Welcome to our channel. Today we delve into the controversial world of the Flipper Zero, a device that has sparked debates across the globe. The Flipper Zero is not your average gadget. It's a pocket-sized multi-tool designed with geeks, pen testers, and hardware enthusiasts in mind. It combines a variety of functionalities from RFID and RF to infrared and HID emulation and much more. This device is independent, requiring no external hardware to function and can be customized and upgraded to suit your needs. What sets the Flipper Zero apart is its open source nature. It's a fully controllable RF platform, IR transceiver with GPIO pinouts, USB bridge capabilities, and even one wire contact points. It features a micro SD card slot for storage and includes Bluetooth and Wi Fi capabilities. This means multiple devices can communicate with each other, offering endless possibilities for those who dare to explore. But the Flipper Zero is more than just a tech gadget, it's a tool that has become the center of a global debate with countries like Australia and Canada expressing concerns about its potential misuse. On one hand, it's a powerful tool that allows tech enthusiasts to explore and understand the digital world around us. On the other hand, it's a device that could potentially be exploited for criminal activities. As we unravel the story of Flipper Zero, we'd like to give a shout out to our channel members Derek Tyson and David Henderson for their support. Their contributions help us continue to deliver insightful content that keeps you informed and engaged. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things tech. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of Flipper Zero. While the Flipper Zero is a marvel of modern technology, its potential misuse has raised concerns. This pocket-sized multi-tool designed for geeks, pen testers, and hardware enthusiasts has been under the spotlight recently. News from Australia warns about the device's ability to hack car and home security systems. By scanning and copying electronic keys and swipe cards, the Flipper Zero can compromise security systems, making it a potential tool for criminal activities. This technology, while legal in Australia, has sparked debates due to its dual-edged nature. On one hand, it's a versatile tool that can be used for a range of legitimate purposes like hardware debugging, Bluetooth communication, and more. On the other hand, its ability to exploit electronic locks has made it a potential accomplice in theft and break-ins. Cybersecurity experts, however, have highlighted the vulnerabilities in electronic locks and recommend traditional security measures like physical locks and car wheel locks as additional layers of protection. They emphasize that despite the emergence of high-tech theft methods, a significant number of home break-ins still occurred due to unlocked doors. Interestingly, the Flipper Zero controversy has not just stayed within Australian borders. The Canadian Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry announced plans to ban devices used in keyless car theft, with specific mention of the Flipper Zero. This decision, however, has stirred up debates among experts. They argue that banning such tools hampers security research and development, and that the decision was fueled by media hype rather than actual evidence of criminal activity. Despite its potential for misuse, the Flipper Zero has legitimate uses that contribute to its popularity. As we dive deeper into the world of the Flipper Zero, we'll explore its capabilities, limitations, and why it remains a valuable tool for many. Stay tuned as we unpack the story of this fascinating device. The controversy surrounding the Flipper Zero reached a peak when Canada proposed a ban on the device. This sparked a wave of discussions and debates within the tech world and beyond. The Canadian Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, in an attempt to curb keyless car theft, announced plans to ban devices like Flipper Zero. This proposal, however, was received with mixed reactions, particularly from experts in the field. Security researchers and tech enthusiasts were quick to point out the potential drawbacks of such a ban. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, a champion for digital rights, argued that banning such tools could significantly hamper research and development in security. They contended that these devices, while potentially exploitable, also offer invaluable insights into identifying and rectifying vulnerabilities in existing systems. The developers of the Flipper Zero also joined the fray refuting claims that linked their device to a rise in car thefts. 
They argued that the device is not designed to hijack cars and in fact is less practical for such purposes compared to other tools readily available online. They called for regulatory measures to enhance security rather than outright bans on cybersecurity tools. Critics of the ban further highlighted that the Flipper Zero, while capable of copying wireless signals for remote keyless entry, does not have the advanced capabilities to effectively steal modern vehicles. The most common form of car theft today, they noted, involves signal amplification relay devices against keyless ignition and entry systems, a technique the Flipper Zero is not equipped to perform. The proposed ban has sparked debates about the balance between security and innovation. It has ignited discussions about the need for informed decision-making in politics, the importance of critical thinking, and the limitations of relying solely on perceived authority or expertise. As the story of the Flipper Zero continues to unfold, it serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between technology, security, and legislation in our increasingly connected world. To understand the controversy, it's important to delve into what the Flipper Zero can and can't do. The Flipper Zero is a pocket-sized multi-tool designed for tech enthusiasts. It's open source and open hardware, meaning it can be customized, upgraded, and tinkered with to your heart's content. The device combines a host of functionalities such as RFID, RF, infrared, HID emulation, and GPIO. It also features a fully controllable RF platform, an IR transceiver, GPIO pinouts, and USB bridge capabilities, but that's not all. It can serve as a U2F key for two-factor authentication and even has one-wire contact points. Among its many uses, the Flipper Zero can read RFID and NFC codes, clone door keys, and scan credit cards. It can also function as a Pomodoro timer, copy RF signals for legitimate purposes like garage door keys, duplicate IR signals for remotes, and create NFC business cards. It even offers various apps for different functions, such as a metronome app and a presentation remote. However, it's essential to note that the Flipper Zero has its limitations and safeguards against certain malicious uses. For instance, while it can copy wireless signals from key fobs, it cannot unlock cars with rolling codes which are commonly used in modern vehicles. This means that despite some concerns, the Flipper Zero is not as potent a tool for car theft as some might believe. Moreover, the device has faced scrutiny and bans in some countries due to its potential for illegal activities. Critics argue that banning such tools hampers security research and development. In response, the creators of Flipper Zero maintain that their device is not designed for malicious use, but rather as a tool to explore and test wireless signals and security vulnerabilities. While the Flipper Zero is a powerful device, it is not a universal hacking tool. It serves more as a versatile hardware hacking tool that supports various radio protocols, enabling communication with a wide range of devices. It's not the harbinger of cyber doom as some have painted it, but rather a testament to the importance of understanding and testing the wireless and security systems that surround us in our everyday lives. Beyond the controversy, the Flipper Zero serves as a valuable educational tool. This pocket-sized multi-tool packs an array of functionalities that make it a comprehensive learning platform for tech enthusiasts, security researchers, and hardware hobbyists alike. It combines a fully controllable RF platform, infrared transceiver, GPIO pinouts, USB bridge capabilities, U2F key functionality, and one-wire contact points, all in one independent open-source device. The Flipper Zero invites users to delve into the world of communication protocols, offering the ability to interact with various radio protocols and opening a gateway to a wide range of devices. This offers a hands-on approach to understanding the ins and outs of these protocols, the cornerstone of wireless communication. Moreover, the Flipper Zero can be customized and upgraded, encouraging users to explore their technical creativity. One such instance is the emulation of an Apple AirTag. With some technical knowledge and the device's Bluetooth capabilities, users can create their own AirTag, a project that not only enhances their understanding of the technology, but also showcases the device's flexibility. The device's potential for misuse has understandably raised concerns. However, it's important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. The Flipper Zero is not inherently malicious. Its purpose and value lie in how it is used. In the right hands, it becomes a tool for exploration, learning, and innovation. 
It's also worth noting that the Flipper Zero has built-in limitations and safeguards to prevent certain malicious uses. These measures serve as a reminder of the device's true nature. Not a universal hacking tool, but rather an instrument to explore and test wireless signals and security vulnerabilities. In essence, the Flipper Zero is a testament to the power of open-source technology as a medium for education. It offers a practical, engaging way to learn about the intricacies of modern technology, from communication protocols to hardware debugging. The Flipper Zero's educational potential underscores the need for a nuanced approach to its regulation. Despite the controversies and debates, the Flipper Zero continues to evolve and expand its capabilities. In the face of adversity, the Flipper Zero has proven its resilience, reflecting the spirit of innovation and exploration that drives the tech community. One of the most exciting developments is the recent introduction of the Video Game Module, a powerful addition that enhances the Flipper Zero's functionality. This add-on allows for motion-based controls, transforming the device into a dynamic platform for gaming. But it's not just about play. This module, powered by a Raspberry Pi microcontroller, opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for developers and enthusiasts alike. The Flipper Zero's compatibility with Raspberry Pi further broadens its scope, bridging the gap between retro gaming nostalgia and cutting-edge technology. It's an embodiment of the device's ethos, a tool that's as versatile as it is compact, designed to spark curiosity and encourage exploration. As we speak, the Flipper Zero community is actively exploring the capabilities of this new module. With each firmware update, the device grows and adapts, shaped by the collective creativity and ingenuity of its users. It's a testament to the power of open source, proving that innovation thrives when knowledge is shared freely. But it's not just about the hardware. The Flipper Zero's journey has also been marked by its efforts to educate and inform. Through its challenges and triumphs, it has raised important questions about security, privacy, and the ethical implications of technology. It serves as a reminder that while technology can be a powerful tool, it's up to us to use it responsibly. As we look towards the future, it's clear that the Flipper Zero is more than just a device. It's a symbol of the possibilities and complexities of our digital age. From its humble beginnings to its current status as a versatile multi-tool, it continues to evolve, adapt, and inspire. The Flipper Zero's journey is a testament to the complexities of regulating technology in our modern world, but it's also a reminder of the power of curiosity, innovation, and community. It's a story of resilience, adaptability, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. And it's a story that's far from over. As we conclude our journey into the world of the Flipper Zero, we see a device that has sparked global debates about security, innovation, and regulation. This pocket-sized multi-tool designed for the tech savvy has shown us the thin line between exploration and exploitation. It's a tool of knowledge, revealing how our everyday devices communicate and highlighting their vulnerabilities. Yet, its potential misuse has led to scrutiny and even bans in some countries like Canada. Despite these challenges, the creators of Flipper Zero remain steadfast, advocating for its educational value and its role in promoting better security measures. The device's limitations and safeguards also remind us that it's not a magic key to our digital world, but a tool for understanding it better. The Flipper Zero's journey is a testament to the ever-evolving conversation about technology security and the knowledge needed to navigate our increasingly connected world. As the story continues to unfold, the Flipper Zero stands as a symbol of the complex relationship between innovation, regulation, and the digital frontier. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Special thanks to our channel members Derek Tyson and David Henderson for their support.